About one in every 20 custom homes built in the U.S. today is a log home. Ken Tierbach, the president and CEO of Alpine Log Homes, has been one of the industry's pioneers. Each home is individually done and is done by a three to seven man crew. And that crew does everything on that house from start to finish, even taking to where the final destination is and helping reassemble it. Tierbach bought Alpine in 1974 during a recession for $3,000. And then he financed the company's growth with a $30,000 SBA loan. We came up with the system of building a house in a central location, dismantling it, and then shipping it. And once we were able to prove that we could do that, I started looking for areas of the country that would be a good place to locate the operation, get out of the snow, get into a nice climate. And this is how we found the Bitterroot Valley in Montana. It has the second most even climate of any spot in the United States. That doesn't mean it's the warmest place. But what it means is in the last 20 some odd years, we've only had six inches of snow twice. Tierbach was inspired to buy Alpine after reading a magazine story about how soon the old time log cabin builders would be gone. One day I read an article and it said that there would be no one left in the United States by the year 1990 that knew how to build an authentic log structure. And so a light bulb went off and I said, wow, log homes, um, people are getting out into the country and having horses for their daughters. Uh, people like this lifestyle. There's, uh, we might be in front of a trend here. Being in front of a trend does have its challenges. When we got into this industry, we took a look and you could not open your phone book to the yellow pages and say log home tools because there was no industry. So everything other than the chainsaw, we've had to invent. As he developed the company, Tierbach spent a lot of time creating specialized tools and equipment. From the tractors designed to pick up a single log, to the electric chisels, and the scribe method for drawing a notch, even the chinking that goes between the logs themselves, all had to be developed from scratch. All of the tools, even the draw knife where you're removing the bark by hand, we had to take some old chipper blades and weld them to rods and put bicycle handles on them. Very sophisticated. So at one end we have bicycle handles on uh, chipper blades and at the other end of course we have CAD uh, or computer design aided uh, engineering and architecture. I, I do like how we've incorporated this, the stone and tied that in on the walls. There. One of the secrets to Alpine's success has been to defy some conventions of financing a business. Very early, it was a management decision to have no accounts receivable. And by that, what I mean is all of our houses are built, they're one of a kind. We've never built two houses alike, but we take a deposit with the house. And then as we build the house, we progressively bill the customer and we get our last payment prior to shipping. With no accounts receivable and by internally financing all major equipment purchases, Tierbach has had the flexibility to retool the business when times are slow. The biggest surprise so far may be that he's still here at all. Having done a lot of turnarounds with businesses, uh, I thought I would build this up and then sell it. But it became such an enjoyable business and so much fun and the people working uh, not only on the log homes but the people that buy log homes are so much fun that it's something that is, I've been doing now for almost 30 years. In Victor, Montana, I'm Sarah Pryor for SBTV.